we will be reading from this book today, The Wonder of Creation. If you have this book at home and you'd like to follow along, we are on page 37. It's called Taking Care of the World. Taking Care of the World. The Bible verse is, we are workers together with God. Such an easy one to remember. It's so short. We are workers together with God. So this is 2 Corinthians 6, 1. Imagine a land filled with elephants, chimpanzees, gorillas, hippos, leopards, lions, and hundreds of other animals. Over 1,000 species of birds flutter through the air and over 10,000 different tropical plants grow here. The land is rich with rubber, timber, copper, diamonds, tin, and gold. And over 75 million people call this area home. What is this amazing place? The Congo Basin in Africa. The Congo Basin is the area of land surrounding the Congo River, which is the world's deepest river. At 720 feet deep, you could stack two Statues of Liberty on top of each other and still be underwater. The river is 2,920 miles long and crosses the equator twice. All that water so close to the hot, hot, hot temperature of the equator creates the perfect environment for the world's second largest rainforest. Do you know what the first largest is? It's the Amazon rainforest. But the Congo Basin is in danger. Poachers are killing too many animals. The rainforest is being cut down and the frequent wars aren't helping anyone. God told us to take care of the earth, even those parts that are halfway around the world, which you can see in Genesis 2.15. How can you help the Congo? So even though we might not live in the Congo, maybe you do if you're watching this, but what is one way we can help them? It says one way has to do with the foods grown in and near rainforests, foods like bananas and cocoa. You know what cocoa is? It's like chocolate. So bananas and chocolate, ask your parents to look for foods that are sustainably grown. So say, mom, dad, are these bananas sustainably grown? That means that the farming does not hurt the forest. Little things can make a big difference when you work with those around you and with God to make the world a cleaner, happier place. Here's our prayer. God, Show me what I can do today to make this world a better and more beautiful place. Amen. Now, the very last thing on here, here's our little picture of the guy swimming in the river, which to me, no, thank you. I'd be too scared of crocodiles and hippos. <laughs> but our very last thing over here, this is what we're going to be doing today. Isn't that planting plants? Okay, so this little section is called Explore the Wonder. Imagine how this world must have been when God first made it. What can you do to make it more like that again? Think small. Pick up a piece of trash. Have you ever done this? My kids do this all the time. And even sometimes I'm like, ugh, ugh, what is that? <laughs> like, like one time my son picked up a crushed aluminum can. It was like all sharp and stuff. I'm like, you're cut yourself. Okay, <laughs> so be careful when you pick up trash. But it's really thoughtful and easy thing to do to pick up trash, right? Think a little bigger. Plant a tree. Or like today, we're going to be planting seeds. Think even bigger. So it says, think, dream, and plant really big. Maybe you can start a community garden or a recycling program at your church or school. What can you do to take care of God's creation? All right, let's get going. Let's plant some seeds and start today helping the environment. Maybe we are going to grow some seeds today that we can actually eat later, depending on what kind of seeds you have. If you plant some pepper seeds or some sprouts or some kind of seeds that turn into food that you can eat, we're going to grow all sorts of cool things. And not only that, but plants always help the air and environment around us. Let's go. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to class. Today we are doing germination. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what is germination? Is it when you get germs on people? No. I just germinated you. <laughs> 
germination. So our germination is planting plants. So it's when a plant begins to grow, the process of when seeds begin to grow and plants Seed. begin to grow. So it's so fun because this class, you might actually get to eat what you grow. Yeah. So I have a few different things and you're gonna want a clear jar or glass something that you can see through as it's growing. So you can ob observe and make your observations about what you're seeing day after day. And this is gonna be about what, a seven day, seven day experiment. So um, on the different days, you're gonna come and observe and draw a picture and write what you see each day. So day one, planting. And these I wanted to add because I have this huge thing I bought on Amazon and I love sprouting my own seeds. And Gibson, what do you have here? This is to this, the other one. That's that, the other one I showed you, it goes to this. These peas, what are these? Are they snap peas? I don't know. Sugar and snap pea. So we have these <laughs> and we have these Cherokee wax beans here. And we have some carrots over there. And we're probably not going to plant the carrots, but you can plant as many as you'd like. If, um, and it's fun to do a variety because then you can see how the different plants grow and they'll grow at different rates. They'll grow um, taller, faster, etc. And this one's kind of cool because it looks just like the pea that is inside of a snap pea. It just dried up, like shriveled up. Pea. Yeah, and by the way, and show them this one. It looks just like a and bean. We, and we grow stuff in our, in our basement. Yeah, we have a bunch of plants growing. And I planted my oh, way. This is a bean. And I planted my like colorful carrots. Colorful carrots we planted. We have spaghetti squash. I think, I think you're not going to believe it because you think our carrots are like orange. Yeah, and they have colorful carrots. We're trying to grow them right now, so we'll see how that turns out. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna talk about the seed and the parts of the seed and as our seed grows. So there are three main things that a seed needs to grow or a plant needs to grow. What things do you think a plant needs to grow? Give Water, sunlight, and food. And the seed broke. Oh no, I wonder if it'll still grow. So that'll be part of our experiment. Okay, mm -hmm. so it needs water. Um, oxygen was the other thing. It needs air. <gasps> it needs air. It needs air to breathe. Water, air, and some type of sunlight. And in our basement, we actually have artificial light that works really well. So even a light bulb from your lamp is going to work. It's like fake sunlight. Hey. And it's really cool because when we were just in the caves by us in Tennessee, we saw this underground lake Maybe I'll share a video. It's real, a really quick video. And in this cave, it's pitch black. If they turn all the lights off, you can't see anything. It's so scary. You can't see your hand in front of your face. But they have these lights lighting the way. And by all the lights, there's plants growing. <laughs> so if there's artificial light, plants will find a way and they'll live and grow. Now it also says on our page that warmth speeds up the process of germination. I didn't know that at all. Yeah, so if it's warm, it will help it and that is why a lot of people will cover their jars with like plastic wrap or any kind of plastic to make it all cozy inside. Yeah. Like a warm cocoon for the seed. And I was just pretending to be soaked because not, like not breathing because they need air. They need air or they will die. So the three main things a plant needs to grow, water, light, and oxygen. You can speed up this process by making it cozy with warmth. While Gibson is getting that paper towel wet, I'm gonna show you how to do my big thing of seeds right here. So there are a lot of different, oh, <laughs> varieties in here. And this one you don't need paper towel for at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it straight in my jar. Okay, so I like to do these to add to my salads or even I can make a whole salad out of them. And you only need a tiny little bit. I didn't measure them, I just kind of coated the bottom of the jar. These you're gonna fill up with some water, leave them to soak for 24 hours, and then you rinse them out every day. 
And after about three or four days, this will be full of sprouts that you can eat. So this is really fun and I hope you try this. And maybe I'll share a link to some sprouts you can get on Amazon, but they're so healthy. If you eat these sprouts, for example, some of them are broccoli sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, and things like that. It is 50 to 80% more nutrients in the sprout than in the whole plant. So I hope you eat some of these. You get super, super sized, super nutritious, superpowers. Okay, so he's back with the paper towels. And so wet. we're gonna use three of them per jar. And you just loosely put them in there. You don't wanna pack them in too much. Otherwise, there won't be room for the roots to grow. So kind of lightly squish them in the jar. He got them wet and then wrung them out by squeezing them. As you can see, they're nice and wet. So don't pack them in too much. So this one is ready for the seeds. Mine is too. And this one is ready too. So we have two. And now go ahead and plant your seeds. I'm gonna pick these ones because I got these and you got Okay, I'll plant these. Okay, this one's broken, so we'll see how this one does. Yeah. How many can we put want in? Want you to push them down the side. Can we put in? Um, how about I don't know, anywhere between three or five. So you want them to be on the side so you can see them. So if you just push your finger down in there. There's another one. I have one and a half. <laughs> And get this one further down. Oh, that one got stuck. I'll see you like. Mine's all going like all the way to the bottom. Okay, good. For some reason, I did not pack them in. How many in. do I have? One, two, three, four. I think I, I might do another one. Yeah. Okay, I'll do okay. Now, technically, when you're done with this experiment, you can replant these in soil and you can try to eat them hopefully someday. And that's the funnest part, eating your own food. <laughs> okay, so Gibson's are Yummy. down here. Oh, these are all probably too close together. So we'll have to separate them. Yeah, I tried separating them. Yeah, so I, I tried spreading mine out so they have room for their shoots and roots. So speaking of shoots and roots, let's go over our Science Journal, page one right here. Do plants need food? Yes! <laughs> yes! So they get their food from the sun. A process called photosynthesis. Can you say photosynthesis? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Oh, from <laughs> like compost. Yeah, they can also get food from the soil, nutrients from the soil. Okay, so the process is called photosynthesis where they turn the light into food for them. Now, our, let me get one of these seeds. Because I like this seed, it's a really good example of our picture right here. It looks a lot like this picture. So the parts of the seed, the seed has an embryo inside which is like a tiny baby plant inside of this. Isn't that amazing? and it's just waiting and wanting to grow. It has a young root and a young shoot. That's hard to say. Now, food store. The baby plant uses the seed itself, so like what's in here, as its food. Okay, and then it also has a coat just like you. So the black part on the outside that's hard, it's it's protective coat. So it's like a hard protective layer. And our skin keeps us from like people seeing like gross stuff inside of us. Yeah. So it could be like your skin, the black, the outside of the seed. So all seeds have like a harder, kind of like a shell, a coating on it. Okay? and the root and a shoot. So Gibson, what do you think a root is? Mm, like something to like drink from stuff. They just stay there forever. If one tangled around your hair and clipped on, then it'll stay there. Okay. Forever. So it grows like down into the earth yeah. and it spreads out? Yeah. It, okay, so. It even goes really deep. Let me ask you, 
does a root go up or down? Down. Down, good. And where does a shoot go, up or down? I don't know, like up. Up, yeah, it goes up. All right, so we're we gonna be observing know. these throughout. <laughs> so Gibson said he doesn't know what a shoot is. So that's really cool. We're gonna see this firsthand when our seeds grow. All right, I don't wanna give too much away because I wanna make our observations as we go through the week, all right? So this is basically it for day one. <laughs> And let's label the parts of the seed as we go. How about that? Because we will see it with our own eyes in front of us through our jars this week. Okay, so I put some paper towel down. I'm gonna put our seeds up here. And if you want to speed up the process, you could put a plastic baggie over the top or a plastic wrap. Now these are my sprouts right here that are gonna soak for a day, 24 hours. And then I'm gonna rinse them. And uh, this one has a special lid on it so the water can get in and out every day as I rinse them. So we'll be observing all of these for the week. All right, since our bean here, our seed, looks almost exactly like our picture, you can go ahead and write number one here. And then when you're done, go ahead and fill out your science journal for day one. it's day three and we are observing our seeds but so far nothing is happening because of the t things are we think dry. they might be too dry so we're gonna get them wet again okay so we made them cozier by placing the plastic bags over them and we also added a little bit of water don't forget to make your observations now our wax bean and sugar snap look almost exactly the same but our sprouts now have tons of little tiny shoots coming off of them so i tried to draw that and so we see over here this seed has a little shoot coming out so this looks like a number two so now we have our number one and two This is day five observations. All right, so we can see little sprouts coming out on all of our seeds. Our other sprouts here are growing like crazy, filling up the jar. Yeah, and I was right. They just needed the paper towel soak. They needed more water and it seemed to work. So this is awesome. And then we're gonna figure out, so we have these little shoots coming out and Gibson, what do you think this is? A root or a shoot? What's your guess? Um, a root. Okay, you think it's a root. Okay, so we will figure that out as we watch them grow. Don't forget to fill out your science journals. In our jar, hold it up, let's see. So one of our questions was, see how our seed has started to split apart and this little shoot is coming out or this little sprout is coming out? Oh, and actually you could pop that part right off. Um, is this a root or a shoot coming out of here? So if we kind of, I only have one hand, but 
If you see here, this is actually the root. The first thing that we see coming out is the root. And this one, I don't think we can see a shoot yet. I think I found a suit. Okay. okay. I think. Oh! This one kind of looks like a seahorse. <laughs> so this is cool okay and then go ahead and show because these are our wax beans right so then go ahead and get our sugar snap peas yeah so this one on the top here is the shoot coming up oh this is the pea okay and then this is the root going down here so these are our peas look how cool they look and at this point if you wanted to replant them in dirt you would put the whole seed and the root under the dirt and leave the shoot sticking out of the top. Okay. Um, what else can we find? A, there's another one that has a kind of like a suit. A little one popping out. Yep. And so the first thing one. to come out of the seed is usually the root. And then I also shared these, um, a whole bunch of different mini sprouting seeds right here. They're ready to eat. And you can see the little <laughs> yummy roots and shoots. So please share um, your science journal with us and let's make our final drawings. I just saw inside of here is the little leaf, the little shoot starting to come out. If you taste this, maybe the shells are making it like burning hot. My tongue's on fire right now. Okay, so some of those yeah. seeds are radishes. And the radishes are kind of like spicy-ish. So it depends on the mixture that you get. If you get broccoli, radish, mm. etc. Thanks for joining me today. If you want access to this full online course for free, go ahead and check it out at teachmetruth.com where you will have access to all of the printables, the science journals, list of instructions. There are also lists of ingredients and supplies and everything you will need for all of the activities and experiments. Check it out. See you soon.